Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here I have this app and this is a UI and this UI and app I built using Flutter GetX, Riverput and Block. So I built three versions of this app. So over here the first one is GetX, this is Riverput and this is Block. So I have three forms of this app which means that I built this app three times using three state management system. Here I'll see and show you the comparison and how it feels uh, to work them or use them on the simulator. And at the end I'll also say the difference and how I felt during the development process. Now this is actually a complete app. It has both backend, so it does have API and backend and notification and chattings. So all these features have been done using all these three state management systems. Anyway, so I'm gonna allow for this one, GetX, and this is Riverpod, and this is uh, Block, okay? Now, of course, in terms of UI and visual effect, there is no change. So here, I'm gonna do click on this for GetX, and here I see that we can get started, and this is where it takes us, and this one is for Riverpod, and uh, let's get started. And the same happens here, all right. Now, for each of them, we could log in or sign up. Now, for River uh, GetX itself, actually, I have signed up, so I'm going to log in using my credentials over here. And after that, actually, we'd be able to use the app. Otherwise, we are not going to able to use this app. So I'm going to log in over here, and we'll see that it's trying to log in because it's connected with the server. So data is coming from server and here we logged in. Now over here we have logged in using uh, GetX. Now I don't have account for this too, so I'm going to go up and uh, go ahead and sign up over here. Now first one over here I'm going to use a username as Dibes, Dibes tag, and uh, I'm going to do email address and here I would do Dylan at dbestag.com and I'll in terms of password I'll keep it just simple and I'm going to sign up over here and uh, let's see okay so we see that we have some response and it says that user account already exists okay now in that case we are going to use a different one Let's go ahead and sign up. All right. So here it says that an email has been sent to verify to my account, which is my email account. So that means that I have, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, verify the email address. So here I've got the link and I'm going to click on this and verify this email address and we should be good to go. Uh, let's wait for it because the Firebase verifies our email address. In our app, we have used email address verification, and for this mechanism, we have used Firebase. Now here it says that your email has been verified, as you can see. So now here we are, and inside this, we are going to use the email address, the one that we have just used to log in. So I'm going to click over here, login. So here we are logged in using Riverpod. Now for block itself, we are going to use Google login. Of course you could do email, of course you could do email login, but here we'll go ahead and do Google login. So here we are doing Google login. So it means that our app supports custom login as well as uh, Google login, Facebook login, and Apple login. As you have seen early here at the top, we had this Apple login. Now we should be logged in using Google. Now as you see over here, you can also use Apple to log in. Okay, beautiful. So our apps are ready. Now this part of this app has been done using block. So let's go ahead and take a very quick look. So here is this search section and here is this uh, courses. So if uh, we have a lot of courses, you'd be able to see them from here. And then over here, we could also do chatting. And this is our profile section. 
So that was the GetX version. Now let's see the Riverpod version over here. So once again, this is our uh, search section and uh, course section and uh, message as well as uh, our profile section. Okay, great. Now block section should be the same as you can see over here. So now here you could also go ahead and click on this section where it says go and see your lessons. Of course here you'd be able to play videos. Now here I put random videos. All the videos are same though. Alright, so the videos are same but you get the idea. So the teacher would be able to upload these videos from backend. Now let's take a look at this uh, message section using GetX. So over here we do see that uh, we would be able to send messages. Here it's a hey there hey there and send messages and of course we'll have this uh, send images and file section okay so that's what we'll be able to do here we'll see how this uh, payment section works so it'll take you to this course section earlier we have seen that you can view them uh, as a video right but you could also go ahead and uh, buy the course but the course should be uploaded by the teacher from the back end as you can see it's loading so here we have integrated a stripe payment so you'd be able to your users would be able to pay through visa card union card and mastercard all right so of course on virtual machine like this we are not going to do that and over here uh, user would be able to see all the courses that have been uploaded by the people in this platform but of course this one we also have over here now, from my experience, as I've worked all these three state management system, I feel like that GetX is the easiest way to start and it's the easiest way to get your job done. And on the other hand, a block is the most system wise. It means that like, for example, everything is very planned as you work with block, you can't mess around. GetX is easy, but if you're not a good programmer, it's also likely that you will make mistakes. But yes, with GetX, your development pace is very fast, actually extremely fast. So in a lot of places, actually, when I don't have enough time, I do use uh, GetX rather than Block or Riverpod. Now, what about Riverpod? Okay, well, Riverpod actually stays between somewhere this uh, GetX and Block because GetX gives you a lot of freedom. On the other hand, Block is very strict. The way you do your, the way you manage your code in terms of managing state. So Riverport stays somewhere between these two. So it's up to you which one you choose. Actually, I use all of them and I'm good with them. So I don't have any problem. Anyway, so if you wanna learn more about this uh, app and GetX and Riverport and Block, check out the link below. Thank you.